Today is the start of the election period for our Board of Trustees until October 31, 12 noon. Voting will be done online and the link will be posted in our Viber group and Facebook page. Click the link and fill up the required information and select up to four candidates only. Once done, click Submit. Canvassing of ballots will be live on Zoom on November 1, 2 p.m. Everyone is welcome to attend. Please be reminded that we will have our annual church meeting and fellowship this afternoon at 3 p.m. via Zoom and Facebook Live. The links will be posted in our Viber group and Facebook page. Hi, my name is Ella Ga. I am 8 years old. I thank God for the opportunity to pray for Him today. Let us celebrate God's faithfulness and goodness to our UECG family for 41 years. To Him be the glory forever and ever. Thank you for that song, Ella. Jesus loves me. What a beautiful reminder. 1 Peter 2.9 tells us, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God, that you may declare the excellencies of Him who called you out of darkness into His wonderful light. Dear brothers and sisters, a happy, happy 41st anniversary to us all, saints of God in UECG. Sulay nga ti tibay, chok tay ke kway lo, e si chap it yun ni. Lan si siyong te, ti chang san tiong hua ki to kao hue, e siyang tiya. 
praise God for His mercy and grace. O lo tzu iye din bin gap iye untien. Despite this great pandemic, we will rejoice in God's goodness. We will not let the pandemic defeat us. Sweden, you get to add you here. Lang be kyung chok song te e untien e sinsit. Lang boe ho tiget diu hing nya kelan. Let us worship our God together. And my Redeemer, greatest treasure of my longing soul. My God, like you, there is no other true delight, is found in you alone. Your grace, a world to deal. heaven's reach your truth a fount of perfect wisdom my highest good and my unending need oh Lord my rock and my redeemer My weary heart, my soul, to fight the cruel deceiver, and my shield against his hateful dart. My song, when enemies surround me, my hope, when tides of sorrows rise. laid on your shoulders in my place you suffer bled and died you rose the grave and death of Whatever lies before me, 
let me be singing when the evening comes. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I'll worship Your holy name. in love and you're slow to anger. Your name is great and your heart is kind. For all your goodness I will keep on singing. Ten thousand reasons for my heart to find. Bless the Lord all oh my soul Strength is failing, the end draws near, and my time has come. Still, my soul will sing your praise unending. Ten thousand years and then forever more. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. His holy name, sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I'll worship your holy name. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul, oh, my soul, worship his holy name, sing like never before.
is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest, I in my Savior. I'm happy and blessed Watching and waiting Looking above Filled with His goodness Lost in His love This is my story This is my song Raising my Savior All the day long This is my story This is my song Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Let us pray. Dear Father, Lord of the Church, we celebrate today the 41 years you have given you ECG. We have so much to thank you for. Thank you for your salvation given to us, your people. Thank you for the Church, the body of Christ. Thank you for your faithful servants who have served your Church over the years, the pastors, the elders, the board, the deacons, the office staff, the workers, the small group leaders, the Sunday school teachers, the worship people, the youth leaders, the ushers, and so many more. Thank you for the many, many faithful members and friends who have prayed for, served in, and given to the ministry. Thank you for love. Love from you to us, shown on the cross, and in so many other ways. Then, love from us to each other. Through this love, may the world know that we are your disciples. As we move on to the next 10, 20, 40 years until our Lord Jesus' return, we continue to call on you for grace and guidance. We acknowledge that we don't have what it takes in ourselves to run this church. As has been said, without God, we cannot succeed. With God, we cannot fail. We praise you, dear Father, Lord of the Church. Amen. Nandai sa hap kito, guntin tiyay tiyipe, kauhoy at zutay, Kinadit gun kiang chok chiang san tiong hua ki to kao hue si zap it chiu ni. Gun jin zue hang tang ng di kam un. Kam sya di ho gun di e kiu un. Kam sya di ho gun kao hue. Su si ki to e sin te. Kam sya di ho gun zue ke ki kao kien kim zue tiong sim e pok din. Di kau hui le su hong, tuan to bok su, tiu lo, sin tok wi wan, zip su, ban kon jik e tang gang, gang yu, xio zo diu, zu di do xian xi, kiang bai e tang gang, qiang dian e diang xiu, jiao tai wan, ko jin zui ba lang. Kam sya di inwi jin zue, jin zue, tiong sim e hue yu, kap piang yu, in ti le tue, ji ge su gang ki to, su hong, hong hien. Kam sya di e tia, tia gun, tiak bet di sip di ke tiang, hien biang di e tia, ko jin zue, pa de hong hua tia gun, ya kam sya di ho gun, Ho Xiong Sa Tiang Zua Jia Deo Zige Tiang 
原子嘅世界，通知影讲，阮是属你嘅。当阮进阶、进阶到刷落去十年、二十年、四十年，到阮主耶稣第二摆过来，阮继续求你嘅恩典。一多年，阮承认靠着家己，阮无通多年这个教会。有人讲无上帝，阮袂话成功；有上帝，阮袂话失败。阮的天父，教会主宰，阮阿罗尼，阿门。Our scripture reading for today can be found in Matthew chapter twenty-two, verse thirty-seven to forty. Matthew chapter twenty-two, verse thirty-seven to forty. And he said to him, "You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And the second is like it: You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depends all the law and the prophets." 
马太福音二十二章三十七节到四十节，耶稣对伊讲：“你着真心、真诚、真意，听主你的上帝，这是改命中的第一，阁是最大的。其次也亲像，就是着听人拿开记。”这两条诫命是律法甲先知一切道理的总纲。Our speaker today has been with FEBC or Far East Broadcasting Company for the past 19 years. He has been president and general manager for 17 years. He is preaching elder at Green Hills Christian Fellowship, Ortigas. He is the husband to a lyric soprano and painter. He is father to three children, one of whom has already gone to be with the Lord. Let us all welcome our anniversary speaker, Brother Dan Andrew Kura. Then, kinade ta kang wan ti wan tong hok im tian tai su hong zap kau ni zap chit ni zui ye. 总在兼总经理，伊是 Green Hills Christian Fellowship 教会的长老，伊的太太是一个歌星、甲乐作家，有三个囡仔，但是其中一位已经先离开世界。咱来欢迎咱今仔日周年的讲员，咱 Andrew Gura 兄弟。Another wonderful day to all of you. I'm praying that you've been good and、uh, doing well, especially during this、uh, situation that、uh, we are facing right now. It is always a great day to come together and worship the Lord and study His Word. 会通聚集做一个敬拜上帝，并且学习伊个话语，通讲拢是一个美好个日子。Of course, today is even greater because we are thanking God for 41 years of God's goodness in UECG. 当年今仔个较特别，因为咱为着青山同我基督教会来感谢上帝，四十四十一年来个锻炼甲关顾。Indeed, we praise God for this milestone, and I bring greetings from your family here in Far East Broadcasting Company. Today, we are here to pay tribute to the Lord of the Universe. I have brought to the radio station the greetings of the people. As you celebrate your anniversary, let's look into God's Word. In this June 10th anniversary, we will come together to pay tribute to the Lord. Please join me in prayer. Our Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to celebrate your goodness in the life of UECG. We thank you, Lord, for the 41 years that you have walked with the church to spread your word and to encourage the community to draw closer to you, so that they may be of service to others. Father, as we study your word, encourage us, keep our minds clear, so that we may concentrate on your message for us today. This we pray in Jesus' name, Amen. Engage with God, knowing God, loving God, is equal to worship. Obeying God is a response to worship. Worship and obedience go hand in hand. The importance of obeying Jesus is tied directly to worship. Jesus told his disciples in John fourteen fifteen, "If you love me, keep my commandments." As we understand that verse, you can look at it in two ways. First, you can look at it from a contractual standpoint. Basically, it's transactional because he said it, 
then I will do it. Because God loves me, then I should love him back. It's transactional. The second way to understand it is relational. Relational. Because he has loved me in Jesus Christ, he empowers me to love him and obey him. So it's obviously two different responses. Where are we in that? Is it transactional or is it really relational? Today we would like to look at it from the second perspective. Engaging with God is knowing God with our heart and mind, loving with our soul, and obeying Him with our strength. Let me repeat that. Engaging with God is knowing God in our hearts and in our minds, loving with our souls, and obeying Him with our strength. So let's look at this great commandment. In the temple, in the first week prior to the crucifixion, Jesus was questioned by many groups. First, there was the Pharisee, and then secondly, there were the Sadducees. In Matthew 15, uh, 22, verse 15 to 22, it was talking about the Pharisees and the issue of taxes. And then in verses 23 to 33, the issue of the resurrection. These were the issues being presented to Jesus. And how did Jesus answer? Well, he answered them with marvel and astonishment. Now, of course, that's not the end of it because the Pharisees wanted to try him again. So they sent a lawyer. And this time, the challenge to him was among all the commandments that has been presented, what are then the greatest commandments? So Jesus presented the lawyer with two. One is to love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And the other is to love your neighbor as you love yourself. And he underscores it with the fact that upon these two commandments rest all the law and the prophets. That means these are the only commandments that you primarily need and everything follows from there. Uh, Matthew 22, verse 37 to 40, has the complete rendering. It says, But when the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together. And one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. One of these two, not on these two commandments, rather, on these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Matthew 22, 37 to 40. 
，真清楚记载这条代志。当法利赛人听见耶稣脱掉了撒多该人的嘴，便聚集。中间有几位如法书记问耶稣讲：“夫子，如法顶的诫命，倒一条是最大的呢？”耶稣对伊讲：“你是真心、真诚、真意，听主你的上帝，这是诫命中的第一。”而且是最大的，第二也是三重，就是要听人亲像家己，这两条诫命是律法甲先知一切道理的总纲。But you know, this commandment was so real that it was not only Matthew who picked up the、uh, the commandment. As a matter of fact, there is a rendering in Mark in Mark twelve twenty eight thirty one, and in Luke chapter ten verses twenty five to twenty eight. So they captured, they captured also this two commandments that is being presented. So which means it should be underscored to be really important for our life. 咱拢知影这两条诫命非常的真实，所以唔是单单马太福音有记载，马可福音十二章二十八到三十一节，路加福音十章二十五到二十八节拢有记载。Now, while there is no longer the law, under we're not under the law, these two great commandments is still very important for the Christian. For they certainly、uh, have their counterparts in the New Testament. That's why Jesus pronounced it, so that it will find its way. In the New Testament, so it's no longer just an Old Testament law. It is now transferred. The commandment is now transferred in the New Testament, and keeping it will be important for our daily life as we follow Jesus. Now, this commandment is not just a new law. It is now transferred in the New Testament. 伊也是一定是新约的一部分，所以伫咱咧跟对耶稣的时阵呢，遵守这两条诫命，对咱的生活是非常的重要。However, understanding these two commandments today in our study, we will only concentrate on the first commandment, which is to love God with everything that we have. 然后今日咱今日要注意第一条的诫命，就是用咱所有一切来听上帝。So following your theme, let us first look at Engaging with God, engaging with God. 根据咱的主题，咱大先来看讲，甲上帝沟通。Engaging with God begins with the commandment itself, so it's good to understand what the commandment is. So the first point in this engaging with God is knowing God, because you cannot engage with God if you don't know Him. 甲上帝沟通，咱就对改变本身底下来开始学习。因为咱知影，咱就先了解改变是啥物，所以甲上帝沟通的第一点就是讲，咱就认不上帝。因为咱也无认不上帝，咱要怎样甲伊沟通呢 ？Knowing God is to study His Word。认不上帝就是，就通过研读伊个个话语。Look at the covenant、uh, under the Old Testament. This is how it reads。所以咱就来先参观古约时代。From Deuteronomy six verses one to nine, but let me start with verse four. 新民记第六章第一到第九节也记载，但咱要对第四节开始来读。Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. 以色列大地的天，耶和华咱的上帝是独一的主。And these words that I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk to them when you sit on your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. You shall bind them in the sign of your hand, in the、uh, as a sign in your hand, and shall be at the frontlets between your eyes, and you shall write them in the doorpost of your house. On your gate. 我今仔日吩咐你的话，拢得记在心中，也要温存的教训你的子女。无论你坐伫厝内，行伫路上，倒立起来，拢要谈论，也要白伫树顶做记号，挂伫遐顶做经文。
国要写伊，你帮助的门天顶，并你的城门顶。So it was that was where this commandment comes from. Deuteronomy six verse four, moving on to verse nine. 这个就是这在改变的来源。So to the Israelites, what was expected of them? Well, first of all, love God with your heart, with your emotion, with your Uh, with with the one that feels, that means it is something real that you will experience in your heart. Secondly, you shall love the Lord your God with your soul, with your breath. Uh, this is in a sense when you bring the heart and soul together. There's where your conscience is. Why? Because it is God's spirit that is in us for those that believe, for those that have been created by God. And then with your strength. That means your body, your physical body. So there is the heart, the emotion. There is the soul, the being, the being, and then there is the body. So the two essential elements of you is what? You need to use your soul, your emotions, and your body to listen to God. And you know, when I practice, you can hear the truth. It is true. Go on. You need to use your soul and your body to listen to God. To listen to your soul and your body to listen to God. 这就是良心所点的所在，因为这就是上帝家己的灵，在咱每一位伊所创造并且相信伊的人的心中。然后，咱你的人是你的身躯，你的肉身来听。这个就是包括咱的心脏、情感、灵魂、甲身躯，所有一切了。But then in the New Testament rendering. From the Old Testament, Jesus added another word. I don't know if you've noticed that. In Deuteronomy, there is no word for mind. However, in the New Testament, He added with all your mind. So, if you look at Matthew twenty-two thirty-seven, Mark twelve thirty, and Luke ten twenty-seven, it says there、uh, your your heart, soul, mind, and strength. There is an addition. 但是伫信仰的记载顶面，耶稣阁添了一个字。你若注意到，伫新民记的当中无记载一个意志、一个思想、一个意思。但是信仰的当中，加上了一个真意。当你查看新约经文的时阵，伊是讲真心、真性、真意、真力。And the understanding there is actually taken from the Septuagint. The Septuagint. Is the Greek rendering of the original Hebrew, and in the Greek translation, the understanding of mind, soul, and strength is one. It is the whole being of the person, and so even in the translation, the meaning was strengthened, and Jesus reinforced it. This explanation is from the Septuagint. This is from the Septuagint. What is the meaning of the Septuagint? It is Hebrew translation. 原文翻译做希腊文的这个圣经的版本，根据希腊文的翻译呢，意志、灵魂甲体力是同做一体的，就是全人的意思。所以这个翻译呢，将这个其中的意思底下来加强，然后耶稣底下呢，更加的强强调。So how are we to love God？ 所以咱得怎啊来听上帝呢 ？Emotionally, physically, intellectually. And and with all that we are, 咱就伫情感上、身体上、体力上，甲咱所有嘅一切来听。Some serve God emotionally when they are touched. Okay, I'll do something. Some intellectually, they just know. Okay, I know the Bible. I know the scriptures. That's it. 有一款人只要伫情感上要来服侍上帝，所以受感动嘅时阵，伊就讲啊，我要为主来做工咯。有一寡人因是脑子低劣，上来服侍上帝，所以讲我呐读圣经，我爱明白圣文，安尼就够用咯。And then some just、uh, will will just do good works, and that's it. But no, we are being told that we should do everything together as a whole person. 有个人，伊认为说，我呐做一件好嘅代志就够用咯。但是咱唔应该是安尼，因为主对咱嘅要求。So to engage God, the first thing we need to know is to know Him, to know Him and to know His Word. So, God's communication is to remember Him, 
Secondly, is to love Him. Now, how can we apply what the Israelites learned today? First and foremost, do you think that God is expecting from us less than what He expected from the Israelites? Obviously not. Obviously not. So, look at how it is now rendered in the uh, New Testament. In, New, in the New Testament, we are still asked to love God with our hearts. In 1 Corinthians 16.22, that is what we are asked of, that we would love God. And the love that, the word love that is used in 1 Corinthians is the word phileo, phileo. It is the least that we can do to love God because we cannot love agape. Agape, obviously, is God's unconditional love. And we as human beings, we cannot love agape. At the very least, we should love phileo, brotherly love. So in a sense, it's the love that we have for, for our brother, our father, our mother. At the very least, God is saying, if you're going to love me, love me truthfully like that of your family. I am family to you. Secondly, it's not just with our hearts. We are also called in the New Testament to love with our soul, which means body and mind, body and mind. And I'm very sure you're very familiar with Romans 12, 1 and 2, that uh, we offer ourselves as living sacrifices, that we do not conform to this world, and yet offer ourselves as living sacrifices because it is our um, worthy, worthy act of worship to God. <laughs> So it is our mind, do not be conformed with the world, and then our bodies we give as a sacrifice. So that's how we should love. So Paul reminds us about that love. So also, in, uh, in, uh, in Hebrews 10.36, we love with our strength, with the work that we do. So that means there, is, there, there has to be a response. And then, uh, we can go to... Uh, Colossians, Colossians chapter 3, verse 1. And uh, this is what it says in Colossians chapter 3, verse 1. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated in the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above and not things on earth. For you have died and your life is hidden in Christ with God. Go line. So there you have it. That 
we need to seek the things from our mind, the things of God. And of course, the uh, very famous Philippians 4, 8, you know, the verse that says, whatever is good, whatever is praiseworthy, whatever is excellent, think of these things. So if we are going to engage God, the first thing that we need to do is to know Him, seek His Word. Secondly, is to love Him, to love Him and to love Him with our heart, soul, body, mind, strength, and everything that we have. So if we are going to go to God, we will be able to listen to Him, and we will be able to listen to Him. And then to demonstrate our love by keeping His commandment. That is the third point. So the third point is obeying God. The blessing of keeping His commandment. Because isn't it true? If we love somebody and that somebody requests us something, we will go out of our way to be able to help or do something for that person. In this case, it's not doing something for God. It is actually doing something for ourselves. If we obey God, we, in a sense, please God and we are benefited from it. It says in John 14, uh, verse 21, moving forward, Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he is the one who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. So, that's the benefit. We know that the proof of our loving God through Jesus Christ is by obeying his commandment. Not only that, he also abides with us. It says in John 15, 15, it says here, No longer do I call you servants, for servants do not know what the master is doing, but I have called you friends for all that I have, uh, I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. If we love God, then we have the benefit of the relationship with him. And that's one thing that becomes real in our lives. And of course, we can also look at the Lord listening to our prayers. The Lord listening to our prayers. Look at 1 John 3, it says there, And whatever we ask, we receive from Him because we keep His commandments and do what pleases Him. Because if we know God, know His Word, and we love Him, then we would know what He wants, and we will pray exactly for what pleases God. 
为当咱明白上帝甲伊话语，并且咱听伊，咱就会知影伊爱是啥物，咱就会按照伊所爱。So it does not become a selfish prayer. Ani lani kito jumbo ko zai zige jang zai zige zi si e kito. So engaging with God begins with knowing God. It begins with loving God, and then the the response to it is obeying God. Kapu kao tong, 就是对明白上帝开始，对听上帝开始，然后以顺服上帝来做回应。Now there's one more thing that I would just like to add as we engage God, and that is growing in God. Understanding what is it that we need to do so that we can grow more in love with our Almighty God. First is by allowing God. And His love to move us even more. For in Romans chapter five verse eight, it says, "But God shows His love to us while we were yet sinners. Christ died for us. He already took the first step." Romans five verse eight, it says, "But God shows His love to us while we were yet sinners. Christ died for us. He already took the first step." Romans five verse eight, it says, "But God shows His love to us while we were yet sinners. Christ died for us. He already took the first step." God loved us while we were still sinners. And so we need to reflect the love that He has given to us back to Him, relationally, not contractually. So we need to reflect the love that He has given to us back to Him, relationally, not contractually. So we need to reflect the love that He has given to us back to Him, Is by asking God to help us grow in love. We need to pray to Him and ask Him by His Spirit. Second Thessalonians three five. May the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God. And to the steadfastness of Christ. This was Paul's prayer for the Thessalonians that they will grow in love with Christ. So it is the same that we should pray for ourselves and our family that we grow in our love for Christ. This is Paul with the Thessalonica Gospel Epistle of Christ to them. 通更加听主，同样的，咱也需要为着家己甲厝内人祈祷，和咱也会更加听主。If Paul prayed it for the Thessalonians, we can surely pray it for us and our loved ones and our friends. 耶稣保罗，我当推天使罗尼加的人来祈祷，咱兼嘛是有法当为着咱的亲人朋友来祈祷。Thirdly, how do we grow? By praying. Praying and growing in love when the Lord answers. Psalm 116, verses 1 to 2. When you hear our prayer, our prayer will be heard from the Lord. Psalm 116, verses 1 to 2. When you hear our prayer, our prayer will be heard from the Lord. I love the Lord because He has heard my voice and my pleas of mercy, because He inclined His ear to me. Therefore, I will call on Him as long as I live. I hear His voice because He heard my voice and my pleas of mercy, because He inclined His ear to me. Therefore, I will call on Him as long as I live. I hear His voice because He David loved the Lord because they have a relationship and they talk to each other and they listen to each other. David hears from God. The question for us is: Have we been talking to our Father in heaven? Have we been having a communion with Him in our conversation, especially during this time of isolation? Do we take the time to speak to our Father? Kinadit, lansim si. 
，咱甲伊个交讲话，是毋是有甲伊有沟通呢？特别是伫今仔日这个情况下面，咱有找时间甲咱个天爸交谈嘛？是无 ？And then of course number four, how do we grow by keeping the word of God？ 第四点。咱怎样会成长呢？咱得尊敬主的话。Look at First John chapter two verse five. But whoever keeps his word, in him truly the love of God is perfected. By this we may know that we are in Him. 约翰一书二章第五节，凡那尊敬主的多，听上帝心的意来宾是完全的。对啊，你咱就知影，咱是伫主的来宾了。If the word of God resonates in our heart, it becomes second nature. Then we know that the Spirit of God is with us. 上帝话语在咱的心中震动，佮正做咱生活中的一部分，咱就会知影上帝的灵是甲咱同在。So, do we do less than what God asked the Israelites to do? 阿尼，咱是毋是讲说，得做比上帝？ I guess it is very certain that we have a compelling reason that no, we cannot do no less. But as a matter of fact, we should do even more. I believe. I think we have to take a strong reason to say that we want to do more things. In fact, we need to do more things. And why is that? Why? Because God already gifted us with His Son Jesus Christ, who died on the cross, was buried, rose again on the third day, so that we too might live if we truly believe in Him. In His Son, the Eden, John, the Doctor, the Son, 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 the So, as we come to a close, and as we continue to remember this during this your anniversary, think of the two great commandments. These two great commandments, everything falls within the 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 whole gamut of everything that we do. To love God with our being and to love our neighbors like ourselves. In Romans 13 verse 9, it says, "Love is the fulfilling of the law." Romans 13 verse 9, it says, "Love is the fulfilling of the law." Romans 13 verse 9, it says, "Love is the fulfilling of the law." When one truly loves God and loves his neighbor, bringing these two together and engaging God for who He is and obeying His word, then that person is truly on the path that leads to the kingdom of God. When two people really listen to God and obey His word, from this point forward, they will be able to communicate with God and obey His word. Then they will be able to communicate with God and obey His word. Then they will be able That's what I wish for all of us, and for those of you that still do not know the Lord. I pray that this may be the beginning of knowing Him and engaging Him. This is what we as people of God, including those who do not know the Lord, I pray for all of us that this may be the beginning of knowing Him and engaging Him. Remember, engaging with God is the beginning of knowing Him. Engaging with God is knowing God with our heart and our mind, loving with our soul, and obeying Him with our strength. Let's come to the Lord in prayer. Our Father, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to just serve you and know you. Father, we do pray that、uh, not only as a church for the the forty one years that you have been with us, Father, but to every individual member, Father, that we truly learn to engage you, to know you, to love you, and to obey you, so that people may know that we are indeed your disciples. This we ask in Jesus' name, Amen.
Again, happy, happy anniversary to uh, United Evangelical Church in Green Hills. 41 years of God's goodness. And may God continue to use you in reaching out to your community for Jesus Christ. God bless you and stay safe. And now, why don't we just close our time in worship as we move out today with our benediction. Let us pray. 
Our Father, we thank you again for the time that we've had for worship. We ask, Father, that as we go out into the world, Father, that you would continue to bless us with your uh, presence and bless us with your Holy Spirit. And now may the God of peace who brought back to the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, make you complete in everything good so that you may do his will, working among us that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you and do take care.